Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Well, uh, maybe I'm the last, but not least, of the presenters today. Um, uh, let me take this opportunity to uh, present with um, some uh, arguments from a city's point of view about all this green issue, environment, jobs, and all that. Based on my experience in Bilbao and well, a fairly number of cities that we have uh, researched in the last 25 years, that's about over 200 cities for the world, um, we have come to some conclusions. <clears throat> so I want to make this <clears throat> really brief. Number one, uh, it is about people. So you need to create a community, one community, with the people who are going to make it happen. In a city, there is usually more than one community. There are many different people. We call that diversity. It's very good. But at the end of the day, if you want to have one common project for the future of the city, you need one community. If you have many communities, you will need many projects. And when we talk about sustainable development, there are not many alternatives. So on the one hand, you need one community. Secondly, and very importantly, you need to make those people feel that they belong to the place, that they are proud of the place, the city. So we have one community on the one hand and pride of belonging on the other hand. How can you make this happen? Well, let me give you very briefly um, just the main ideas. Transportation, the transportation system is a key factor to make people believe that they belong to a single community in a city. If you facilitate people moving around, enjoying, using, taking advantage of the whole city, they might believe that the whole city belongs to the <coughs> single community. On the other hand, the way to increase pride in these days is about image, global image, international image. You need a few, maybe one is enough, one big project to prove that your city is on the map. Just one thing. But look, there are very few cities in the world who can really achieve this goal of having one image that the whole world can recognize. Well, <clears throat> having said this, in Bilbao, uh, 25 years ago, we were in a very serious decline situation. Our economic base was doing very, very bad. Our companies were closing down. Our job unemployment uh, rate was climbing up. <clears throat> so something very, very uh, bold had to be done. And this is about leadership, long-term vision. So uh, the leadership came up with this idea. Let's create a public-private partnership, that is Bilbao Metropolis 30, to design the vision of the future and make 
every one of us feel that we can create that future. <clears throat> a critical part of that vision was environmental regeneration. At the time, at the end of the 80s, last century, Bilbao was declared as the most polluted area in Spain. The most polluted area in Spain. Land, water, and air pollution. Well, a lot of investment, a lot of effort <clears throat> was put in place, but I have to highlight in particular how the river, all the rivers around Bilbao, there is a main river and several smaller rivers, of course, <clears throat> were regenerated, re uh, regenerated from zero life, zero oxygen in the water. That means the water was, in reality, a chemical mix of all kinds of pollutants. The river water was cleaned, and the new sewage system was uh, built to make the area of Bilbao one of the best uh, water treatment areas in <clears throat> maybe in the world. The total investment for this project has gone up to 1.5 billion, uh, American billion of course, uh, euros. And I want to point out right now one very important factor for the success of this kind of projects, based on what I said earlier. But let me show very clearly where did most of the funding of the money come from these 1.5 billion euros. And this is where the money came from. We have been paying every month double the tax for water in the area of Bilbao to fund the recovery of the river and to build a new water treatment system. <clears throat> that makes us, of course, I mean the citizens of Bilbao, very sensitive about the whole project. It is our money, it is our river, it is our future. Well, <clears throat> that goes, thank you, that needs a further explanation. In the Basque Country, we have our own local tax system. I mean, we pay taxes to our provincial authority, to our provincial government. Almost all taxes in a very small community are paid locally. So we know our money is going to be spent in our small community. And that makes taxpayers very, you know, close, very sensitive to the tax system. <clears throat> Finally, uh, two more remarks. Our um, population in the Basque Country, as I believe in the whole Europe, is declining. Uh, our indicators show that by the year 2030, there will be five percent less Basque people in the Basque country. Five percent less is a lot. Even counting the new, Im the new immigrants from Latin America, Africa, and so on, still five percent less. So we need to attract people, especially talented people from other places. And for that, the environment is one important factor. We need to revive our industry. We have come to the conclusion that the economy, being a very complex thing, at least in our case, and maybe in many other areas of Europe, our economy is based on industry. Green industry, of course, but industry. So at the end of the day, we need to make things, real things. We expect that in less than 15 years, uh, job growth will be at least 50% of the new jobs will come from green industry, green activities. So in a nutshell, 
we come from a very difficult situation in the last 30 years. I think the Bilbao example is a successful story for many cities in Europe and in the rest of the world. Uh, that success is based in a community which is very proud of being uh, of belonging with the leadership that is able to collaborate with each other, public-private. We recovered our environment. We invested a lot of money, of our own money, in that future. We hope that our population in the future will be not uh, less, but better, because we will attract people from other places to a very prosperous community. And we do believe that green industry is the future for our job creation and our uh, economic growth. Thank you very much.